Hey love, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa. And if this is your very first time here in this little space of mine, I love to share all things beauty and a little life in between. However, in today's video, it's gonna be a little different because it is a hair video. Somewhere in a video previously, I've mentioned that I'm trying to establish like a healthy relationship with heat. I'm trying to have like heat in my hair to be like real good friends, you know, like, like, you know, like BFFs. Ever since I've been natural all my life, child, the, the natural hair community, I would say, I don't know who's to blame in the community, but I don't know, they've made me like really, really afraid to use heat. And then the few times that I've used a little heat, it, it just didn't last. So I've tried to do a press at home. I've gone for blowouts and I just felt like it wasn't worth it. So in today's video, I'm getting a press. This is actually the results of um, what I believe to be my first successful silk press blowout whatever it is that you want to call it ultimately sharing some tips and busting some myths about um heat damaged hair versus heat trained hair a hairstylist here in jacksonville who was so gracious and so kind to answer some questions someone's comment that i read recently truly gave me the confirmation that i needed to go on this journey because we are on a healthy heat heat train journey. One of the main styles that I used to always do was like twist outs. I would always do twist outs and I would always um, braid my hair. And so I wanted to just divulge into like other styles. And if you see me like shaking, <laughs> child, I'm just impressed. I'm just happy. I'm just loving this. That, this reminds me of, listen, it's uh, the hair is herring. It's giving undergrad, Lisa. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and come on with me to get this silk press and get this tea, get this knowledge, get this value. Okay? Up and leave. Take a lot of courage just to live out your dreams. Bigger picture I could see if I just close my eyes. Have the foresight to believe. believe there's a difference between the two a hundred percent heat damage is in most cases irreversible and it comes from overuse of heat i'm not going to say consistency but definitely overuse of heat like abusing the hair with heat mm -hmm. and heat train just means that your hair can stay straight but you still have your curls when you you know go to shampoo your hair do you think maybe like your environment would affect like it being heat trained like in Florida, is there such a thing as being like heat trained in Florida? Absolutely, I got a, a million clients yeah, that you way. Do. I mean, you yeah. do hair in Florida. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you think are some like safe heat settings or at home tools that you recommend are like safe for like average person to use? I mean, you know, that's subjective because. You could put it on 300, it's not really going to do anything. Mm -hmm. You can put it on 450, have heat protected, and just touch one spot and it'll be completely fine. Mm -hmm. So the idea is to always ensure that you're just not abusing your hair. You're not getting Got up it. every single day flat ironing Got your hair. It. You know, you're not, um, every time you walk out the door, you're, you're touching it, touching mm -hmm. up a little piece. That little piece is going to be damaged before you know it. I always tell people to minimize the use of putting the flat iron on the hair. If you don't absolutely need to touch your hair, mm -hmm. don't do it. You could brush it down, throw a little product on there and keep it moving. That's Get what it. you need to do. People have this, you know, idea or this notion that I I have to fix this. This mm -hmm. has to be perfect. This has, That's me. It look good just the way it is. Okay, so don't do that every day. Don't mm -hmm. do that when I leave here. No, <laughs> no. You talk about your curls, okay. You gonna wish you had a curl. <laughs> Okay, so so pretty much so you feel like any 
home tools like because I know they sell like the FHI at Ulta you can get that but I know most professionals will use that so do you think that's something that a regular consumer can still you can use? purchase it I in particular don't care for that brand but that would okay. work for you, you yeah know? no I have the baby bliss I just felt like Babyliss. that is that oh child mm -hmm. I showed mm -hmm. baby bliss. <laughs> <laughs> sorry Babyliss. <laughs> Okay, because I was always afraid, like, okay, that I know the professionals use that, so I wouldn't, let me not buy that, let me buy this. So, silk press versus blowout, do you think there's, like, a distinct difference? Well, to me, a blowout is, like, coming to get your hair shampooed and blow dry. Mm. That's what I think a blowout is, mm -hmm. you know. That's not, there's, there's no pressing in that whatsoever. That's just my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. Some people still consider a blowout a press, but literally we're just blow is in, in relation to a blow dryer, mm -hmm. you know? Got it. Okay, so do you think that somebody can like, cause I feel like when my hair is in like it's curly natural state, I don't know if it's my patience or whatever, mm -hmm. I'd be popping, I'd get tangled and mm -hmm. I don't care for it as much as if like it was straight and straight. And so do you think it's possible to achieve more length if you're a straight natural compared to like a curly natural, I think that's what the girls are calling it these days. Oh, I'm a straight natural. I I think that's in relation to your hair. That plays into genetics. That plays mm -hmm. into how we're taking care of our hair. Because I'm sure there are plenty of girls with who have straight hair that's longer than girls who have hair that's curly and mm -hmm. vice versa. You know, so mm -hmm. that's not something that we can say just based on whether you're curly or straight. Mm -hmm. That that has too many other determining factors. Got it. How long should a well executed silk press last? If you're like taking care of it and you have trained hair, you know, um, you're making sure that it's not getting wet or moisture is getting to it at all. Mm -hmm. A minimum of two weeks. Minimum of two weeks. Some of my girls, they can wear their press for three weeks. It just start to get oily. You know, mm -hmm. it's not, it ain't moving like it was mm. the week before. Um, but then again, you have hair. If you if you walk out of here and go to a barbecue, baby, it, it's over with. You know, if you are getting in the shower every day and you're only putting on a shower cap, you're not putting on the scarf and a shower cap, you're letting a lot of moisture get into your hair. Of course, it's going to poop up faster. So... But, you know, train hair properly, taking care of it and things of that nature, a minimum mm -hmm. of two weeks. Mm -hmm. And what are your thoughts on like a DIY silk press, like the at home? I saw a video today. The girl was at home. She did a silk press. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I might need to cancel my appointment. Some <laughs> girls are very hair savvy, mm -hmm. you know. They're very hair savvy. Hello. Works great for them, but we're also not seeing the after. We don't know if that actually lasts. Mm. You're, you're just seeing the right here, the right now. True. Um, and again, we don't know if they're damaging their hair in the process. You don't. Mm -hmm. You don't know what's going on. So it works for Instagram, and it, and it may very well work after that. But we don't actually have any knowledge of that. And I wasn't it? pressing my hair at home, even when I knew how to do hair before I became mm -hmm. a hairdresser. I'm just a, I'm going to go get it done type of girl. Mm -hmm. So if you're a DIY girl, then by all means, get it done. But I have plenty of clients who have even softer hair than yours. And they'll say to me, Danica, I just can't do what you do. I know. That's why right. I mean, you know, that's why you come. Right. That's why you come here. So you can give it your best shot. That mm -hmm. doesn't mean that it's going to work out in your favor. Mm. <laughs> but um, can you let the people know where they can find you? You can find me on Instagram. Um, my Insta is Danika Lachey, D-E-N-E-K-A-L-A-S-H-A. -E um, that's my hair Instagram. And then my personal Instagram is Danika Daily, D-A-I-L-Y. Thank you. Look at the body. Look at the shine.
As you can see, these are, this is the final result. I truly feel that this silk press is going to last. Um, I haven't had a press like this, a blowout, whatever you want to call it, to like even look and feel like this. Um, if you like this video, feel free to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It does help for it to become a little bit more discoverable out here in these YouTube streets. And as I always like to say, if we vibe, don't forget to hit that button and subscribe. Join the tribe, join the community, and make sure that you never miss a beat. And until the next video... Peace.